Hey everyone, my name is Code Punk, and if you're watching this, then congratulations, you get to witness my very first tutorial. Uh, my plan is to basically go over a bunch of Windows things that you can do. Uh, some of it I realized uh, a lot of people don't know a lot of the basics of Windows, especially as I work with certain people who shall remain nameless. Uh, so what I plan on doing is creating a series of tutorials and it's going to range everything from a beginner tutorials, which is this one, uh, up to a medium and advanced tutorials, which uh, I might even get into programming stuff, stuff like that. Uh, so for this one, we're basically going to look at what it takes to set a uh, new wallpaper uh, on your desktop. Uh, so if you don't know what wallpaper is, if you look at my desktop right now, it says CodePunk and there's a little computer at the bottom. Uh, you can see that I have... Uh, it says this PC, recycle bin, and uh, all these app launchers down here. Uh, so what you see in the background, that is actually the wallpaper. And uh, I frequently change my wallpaper almost, I'd say every couple of weeks. Uh, I just like to look at new things. And it's generally of a geeky type of uh, wallpaper, such as robots or comic book heroes. Uh, obviously this one's code punk because I'm doing a video. I had to make it look somewhat nice. Uh, so we're going to get started. Uh, so a few things to note. Uh, some of the things might be different if you don't use the same browser as I do. So I'll be showing you uh, how to set a wallpaper using Google Chrome. Uh, a lot of it's pretty to the same. Uh, and, and it's actually different if you use a different search engine as well. So I'm going to use Google search engine. Uh, I actually use Bing a lot, uh, but they're pretty similar and they both get good results. But I do know that a lot of people use Google, so that's why we're going to pick that one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Google. It's going to open up my new Start tab page, I hope. We'll just give it a second. Actually, it doesn't matter. We don't have to wait. So what I'm going to do is up here in the search bar, uh, I'm going to type in something that I like, followed by the word wallpaper. So what we'll do is we'll do robot wallpaper and then hit enter. And this will take you to the Google results for robot wallpapers. The next thing you want to do is look at the top here, which is a little menu for Google itself. And you want to click on the word images. So that way it filters everything to just images and not uh, websites or news. I don't know what news they'd have for robots, but hey. Uh, so what you see is a bunch of robot wallpapers. Some really cool ones, some maybe not so cool. Uh, but majority of them are really, and even some cute ones like this one right here. Uh, the next step is to make sure you get a good enough size. Some of these could be a really small image uh, that once you put it onto your wallpaper, it's going to look really blurry and pixelated and just not that good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this tools menu item. We're going to click that. And what you see over here is size. So we're going to click on size. And then I usually pick larger than. And a good one to start with, it really depends on the size of your monitor, uh, but the two megapixel one, 1600 by 1200, that's probably a good one for most of you. Uh, mine, I think I would pick 10 megapixel because I have a 4K monitor. Not that I'm bragging or anything. Uh, so we pick the two megapixels and that will basically filter out all of the ones that are smaller than that so we have a large wallpaper we can choose from. So now all, the next step is to basically go through the images and see, hey, which one do I like? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll find one that's kind of, let's do a cute one. How's that? This guy looks pretty cute. Uh, it's actually 1920 by 1080. I don't know why it says that we filtered it down, but it's probably larger than that. Uh, so there it is right there. The next step is to save the image. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click with the mouse button, just like that to bring up the Chrome context menu. And what you'll see is save image as. You want to go ahead and click that and with, now it's going to basically ask, okay, you want to save it? Where do you want to save it to? Uh, by default, I think it's downloads. Mine always changes based on what I was using last, uh, but a good one right here is wall is downloads. So make sure you click downloads here. Uh, if you have a lot of downloads in your folder, it's probably a, a good idea to also take note of what the uh, file name will be. In this case, it's robot HD wallpaper, bunch of numbers .jpg. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Okay. And what you'll see is it puts the little download in the download bar here and it's completed downloading. So all I have to do is click that and it'll open up the Windows Photo Viewer. Uh, and now this makes it, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. 
Now that is a pretty cool wallpaper, I'm going to have to admit. So what you're going to do now that you're in Windows uh, Photo Viewer is you're going to click the dot, dot, dot menu item right there, and you'll see Set As. And as you can see, we're getting pretty close because I bet you can guess that it's going to say Set As Wallpaper. And if you said that, well, you'd be wrong because it says Set As Background, but that's the same thing. So what we're going to do is Set As Background. And we're going to wait a second. And if I minimize this, there you go. There's our new fancy robot wallpaper. Now let's go back to the photo viewer and see what the other options are. So we also have set as lock screen. So if you don't know what the lock screen is, that's when, let's say, you first get on your computer uh, and you have to enter a password. Uh, a, lot of them, a lot of you have to enter passwords. That's basically what you would see. This wallpaper would be set as the background for that lock screen. Uh, the last one set as app tile is kind of... I don't know what's the right word, corny. Uh, one you probably won't ever use. And so we'll go ahead and do it. We'll click on it. Because uh, when you click on it, you're like, okay, well, nothing really happened. But it did. And I'll show you where it happened. If you go and click your little start menu button right here to bring up the start menu and look right here, this is actually the, the launcher for Photo Viewer. And there's our app tile image, our little robot. And of course, clicking on that will just bring up this program right here. Uh, so that's pretty it. That's it. There's uh, a lot of cool wallpapers out there. And again, you know, I tend to get all the geeky ones. Like a robot would be an easy one for me to get. Uh, but I would go more of, let me see. The one I really like, where did it go? This one. Kind of a, a Terminator. It's got uh, grenades for his teeth, stuff like that. That's kind of the geeky ones that I like. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned how to set your wallpaper. Now you can amaze your friends with how to do so. So thank you and have a good one.